What's good, y'all? Welcome to an episode of Buzz Boys. And earlier today, the Hornets actually did it. They actually got a win in Summer League, even though it's the final game against another terrible team. It doesn't matter. They won. And in pretty impressive fashion, winning by double digits almost the entire game. Um, now, a lot of people did sit out. Um, basically, everybody on the real roster, on a two-way, um, sat out. Bryce sat out, um, Nick Smith, even Leaky Black, Kai Jones already been out, Brandon Miller already been out, Book Knight sat out. Um, the only people on like on contracts that really played, um, Amari Bailey on a two way, he played and he played great, and um, James Nodge and he also played good. So, um, they were really the main two guys. Kobe um, Simmons played good as well. And uh, Mensa played good too, and I really wish we would have played Mensa more. And I and I even tweeted out days ago that I'm surprised that we hadn't tried Kobe Simmons because he's literally the only point guard on this roster. He plays point guard for the Greensboro Swarm, and here we are in summer league with no point guards. I don't know, but anyways, man, Amari Bailey really kind of led this team. Um, 17 points and an efficient 17 points i mean 50 percent from the field 50 percent from three and um that was one thing coming out of college his his shooting splits they were good um he doesn't shoot much really he he stays efficient i mean seven for 14 from the field and and i'll, I'll talk about it a little later but seven 14 from the field two four from three efficient he also went for two from the free throw line so we need to clean up 50 percent all across the board but um a reason why i think we won by so much is because there was no key guy on this team on in this specific game i mean they had to play for each other there's no star on this team so i think that's why you only have two people with double digit shot attempts um, you got Amari Bailey with 14 and Xavier Sneed with 10. Everybody else is in single digits. Um, but the assist total was the highest it's been. And 34 assists is impressive. 34 assists as a team to 16 turnovers. Um, and I really think it's just because it was a lot more team basketball here. Um, you know, and a lot of these guys, they have, you know, played on the Greensboro Swarm together. So it could have been that. But honestly, I think it was just guys realizing, you know, none of us here are stars and we're going to have to play team basketball to win. And um, in the few minutes that I did watch, it was nice to see the ball movement and stuff like that. I mean, there were still some highlight plays produced out of this game. Kobe Simmons had a monster dunk. Amari Bailey had the crazy 360 lay. Um Amari Bailey, he really played well, man. He 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 played good. But like I said, so did Mensa. Um, and I I was surprised that we really didn't see him much after that first game. And he played well in that first game. Um I don't know, man, but his plus minus was the highest at 16. And um him and Najee playing the same game was good and something that we didn't really see. Um and the thing jumps off for Najee, five blocks. He just had a game where he had four blocks. Like, the defensive upside on this guy is crazy. And this is basically his most aggressive offensive game. I mean, 10 points, three for five from the field. Um, That's the most shots we've really seen him take. And I was just all around impressed. Um, and the little bit that I did watch, I only watched like a little bit of the first quarter and a little bit of the fourth quarter because I was running errands. I was moving around, but I did just rewatch the game on YouTube before hopping on. And I wasn't going to do a video, but somebody commented on one of my old videos and was like, yo, we finally won. Like, where's the video? So I had to make something for you guys. And I appreciate you guys so much. Channel is growing, bro. We just got to 650 earlier. They were like 650 some subscribers now which is still crazy to me. So I got to keep cranking out content. I'm going to have to get creative these next few weeks because, I mean, there's no more Hornets basketball until October, which is really sad when you say it out loud. That fucking sucks. So I'm going to have to get creative, man, crank these videos out. But luckily, there's still stuff to talk about. You know, what should we, how much should we pay PJ? Um, 
Dennis Smith Jr. news actually came out today. So there's stuff to talk about that where we actually did try to sign him. He just chose to go elsewhere. So that's a development. Um, Brandon Miller, <laughs> Brandon Miller trolling the media. You know what I'm saying? There's still tough to, stuff to talk about. We're apparently interested in Daylon Wright. Are we going to trade? What are we going to do? So there's still stuff to talk about. So I had to get creative so I can keep cranking out content. I'm not going to keep this video too long because, like, obviously, I didn't watch the game really thoroughly. And plus, I mean, most of these players, you know, I, I ain't going to pretend like I really want to talk about them. <laughs> even though that sounds bad, I'm just honest. I'm an honest guy. Even with this camera recording, I'm still honest. I don't care. Um, most of these guys were never going to hear from them again. But um, I definitely will talk about Amari Bailey, though. Um, you know, in the highlights that I did see and even the live that I saw, when I was watching it, you know, the way he got downhill was impressive. And he likes the mid-range shot. And he did take one shot, and he made it. But I hated it. He did a step back two. His foot was still on the line. Like, I don't even think he was trying to shoot a three. Like, he just generally did a step back to the point where Bridger's still shooting a two, which is the worst shot in basketball because it's the hardest shot in basketball. It's basically the range of a three, but it only counts it for two. I didn't like that, but he cashed that bitch. And, um, you know... I really was impressed with Amari Bailey. He even did play make a little bit. He had three assists, um, which is, I think, the most he's had in summer league so far. He's mainly been having zero. So him passing just goes to show, you know, in extended minutes, when he needs to, he can do certain things. And, I mean, the scoring total show with extended minutes, he can do certain things. Um, and like I talked about, I think it was more guys playing for team than playing for self. The ball was moving. It wasn't sticky. You don't have certain people dribbling the air out the ball. Not going to mention names. But, yeah. Something else I want to talk about, something that I noticed now. He did appear on the bench later on in the game. But for the first quarter that I watched the game, James Booknight was nowhere to be found. He was not on the bench. Um, in street clothes, I saw Kai Jones, which he literally has on the Balenciaga fit. In the line, I'm, I'm going to post that picture because that shit funny. But I saw Kai Jones on the bench. I saw Nick Smith on the bench. I saw, who else did I see on the bench? Bryce, Brandon, and Leaky. Those were the five people on the bench. Book night was nowhere to be found. He was not there until I started watching in the fourth quarter. And then I saw him. I'm like, oh. But at first, I'm speculating, like, is he getting traded? Like, is that why he's not here? Like, because, you, bro, you're in Vegas. Like, why are you not here supporting your team? Like, where else are you going to be unless he's watching another summer league game or something? I don't know. But he was not there. And I definitely noticed, like, when I first started watching the game because they kept showing the bench and I'm seeing everybody else but him. So, I don't know. He did appear, but it was definitely something that I noticed. It was it was weird. But, yeah, um. That's pretty much. Oh, no, no, no. Something else I want to talk about. Kobe Simmons, he had eight assists. And it was crazy to me that he didn't play earlier in any other games with us needing a point guard when he was the only real point guard on the team. And when I said that a few days ago, you know, it really dawned on me. Like, what are we doing? This guy goes out, has eight assists today, the most that we've had in summer league so far. He should have been fucking playing. He's the only real point guard on this team. That shit was stupid as fuck to me, but he had a good game, and um, he technically is on our roster. He was on our roster last year, so I don't know if we have to, like, waive him or if he's unguaranteed already. I don't know, but him and Xavier Sneed technically did finish the season last year as Hornets, so I don't know. I don't know if we have to cut them or what, but yeah, I'm about to wrap this up, keep it under 10 minutes. Um, like I said... I'm going to have to get creative, crank out some some different type of content with us being at the end of summer league, man. It's sad. But um, there is still a lot of topics to talk about, and Panther football is coming. Um, anyways, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn your post notifications on because, like I said, still got a lot of content dropping. We're on the road to 1K subscribers, which still sounds crazy to say. With us being at 650, man, like the growth in these last few weeks has been crazy and I definitely appreciate it, man. But anyways, I'm out of here. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.